when it comes to the stitch width, stitch length, and needle positions on the Bernina 880. I love that this machine can do anything I ask it to do. I can move decorative stitches to sew from the left, from the right. Uh, there's so many things you can change and how small the increments actually are when we go to change them. I'm also going to show you that when uh, we do set a stitch length or width as a new setting, that the machine will remember it when you leave that stitch and then when you come back. So while the machine is on, any adjustments you make to a stitch, such as width, length, and needle positions will be remembered. Plus, you could even save them as a permanent new setting should you always be, say, adjusting the stitch length a little longer or shorter versus the default setting. Anytime that you change a setting, you'll notice your numbers will turn yellow. And when you push clear, clear will put your numbers back to white, which is the default setting for this particular machine. So first off, as you make your stitch lengths longer or shorter, you do see that the picture on screen is actual size. So if you're very visual and you don't know what a six millimeter long stitch is, you will see it on screen. The other thing that you can do is actually change the settings while you sew. So if we want to take and start from a really long stitch to a much shorter stitch, you can turn the dials, move the needle positions while you're sewing. So I love that I can dial in the exact setting for what I'm working on without really having to stop every time to change the knob. You can also touch the the setting itself and up will come a screen. Again, you can change it by sliding the little bubble. You can touch minus and anything that has a yellow box around it can be reset by touching it again and it will go back to the default setting also. So you can X out of this, but you just note that you can touch the numbers for different um, settings and be able to have them come up on screen as an actual box. So not just using the knobs. I love that there's always more than one way to do one of the settings here. So we've got straight stitch so we can make the stitch length longer and shorter. And you notice that we turn the straight stitch into a zigzag, but there is actually a zigzag stitch. So stitch number two, now you can make these settings. And again, this is actual size. So when you pick a decorative stitch, you'll see that that is the length of the stitch, how long it's actually gonna sew. So if you're, again, very visual, just keep an eye on your screen. So here's something, let's say we get the perfect zigzag. It's as wide as we can go and as long as we can go. And now we need to go back to a straight stitch. Now I left the straight stitch on a slightly wiggled amount because I was playing with the stitch width. I'm gonna push clear. So we're back to a straight stitch. We're sewing along and now we need to go back to the zigzag. Look, it's exactly where we left it. And when I push clear on the straight stitch, it only cleared the settings out for that one stitch. So you, if you've fine tuned some stitches throughout your machine today for this particular project and you push clear, you're only clearing the one stitch. Love, love that. Needle position. So here are the, the adjustments for needle position. Look at all these needle positions. You are finding you have all these options. Now that's pretty obvious with a straight stitch, but let's do something that I like to do when, especially with our Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course, where we do a lot of decorative stitches, I'm always needing to kind of shift it or change where it sews. So if you see a stitch, you can actually move it to the right or to the left within that opening. Do keep in mind that if you do pick a stitch that is a full nine millimeter stitch, well, there's no place for it to really go, so it can't really be moved very far. So if you wanted to move it, let's say we narrowed it and shrunk it down, we can move it to sew at a different location. So there's lots of times that we feature that particular function 
in the Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course because we just need to move something a little bit. We need to align it with something else that's already been stitched, but it's so nice. Now, I did mention you can override the default setting. So for example, this stitch, if this is the way we always sew it, we always sew it smaller and kind of shorter, you can come into the eye and save this setting. So by touching the little picture of a floppy disk, this is now the default setting for this stitch when we turn the machine off and turn it back on. This is your new stitch. So I can change it, but when I push clear, it goes back to what my default setting is. Love it. Now let's say we don't need this stitch to be that setting anymore. It's not my favorite setting anymore. Come into the eye and just touch unsave and we'll go back to the machine's default setting. So every stitch within this machine, so number one, uh, straight stitch. I like my stitch actually a 2.35. Oh my gosh, I can actually dial that in, but not in the center needle position. So I'm gonna put that back. I can touch the eye and then touch save. That's my new default setting for my straight stitch. And my other favorite one is to go to the quilt menu. And I always am using the blanket stitch in the far right needle position. It works best for my open toe foot. And so this is one that I often go in and save that setting. So those are two of my features or settings that I like on the machines that I can customize. And then I can always uncustomize them when I'm done with the machine or with a particular project. So and I am going to go ahead and undo those, kind of unsave them and get back to normal. But just know that your straight, your zigzag needle positions are infinite on every single stitch throughout the Bernina 880 machine.